Hello everyone, this is Adair from OZ Engineering. In this video, I'll show you a simple ANSYS Maxwell example using the eddy current solver to calculate the ohmic loss on a disk above a coil. I'll start by changing the solution type to eddy current. And I'll set the model units to centimeters. Now let's draw our coil using a user-defined primitive. So I'll go to Segmented Helix and select Polygon Helix. I'll set the polygon radius to 1.5 centimeters and the start helix radius to 15 centimeters. The radius change to 3.1 centimeters, the pitch to zero, and the number of turns to eight. I click OK. Now if I double click on Polygon Helix 1, we can rename it Coil. I set the material to Copper and I'll change the color to Yellow. Here I click OK. Now let's draw a box. I'll set the position to 14, 0, minus 2 centimeters, the x size to 2, the y size to 2, and the z size to minus 2 centimeters. Now let's create a second box. I'll set the position to 40.5, 0, minus 2 centimeters. I set the x size to minus 2, the y size to minus 2, and the z size to minus 2. Click OK. And now we need to connect the box surfaces facing each other. So I'll go to the face selection mode. Let's select both. Right click. Go to edit surface, create object from face. Now right click again, go to edit, surface, connect. Let's now select box one and box two. Right click, go to edit, duplicate along line, and set the vector to 0, 0, 1 centimeter and click OK. Now let's go back to the object selection mode and select all the objects then click Unite. This is the coil final geometry. And now let's create the disk by drawing a regular polyhedron I will set the center position to 0, 0, 1.5 centimeters and the start position to 41, 0, 1.5 centimeters. I'll set the height to 1 centimeter and the number of segments to 36. Let's rename this disk and set the material to cast iron and I'll change the color to orange. In the next step we'll create the coil terminal by using the section option. So I'll select the coil, go to edit, surface, section and we will select the YZ plane. Click OK. Let's rename this coil terminal. And with this coil terminal selected, let's right click, go to Edit, Boolean, Separate Bodies. 
and here we'll delete all those objects except for call terminal. I'll select it, right click and go to assign excitation, current. Here with the type set to solid, I'll set the current peak value to 125 amperes. And click OK. Now for the cast iron plate, the skin depth is around 0.24 centimeters. To resolve it effectively without adding mesh operations, we will create surfaces at depth of 0.125 centimeters and 0.25 centimeters. This will ensure that we have at least two layers of mesh elements in the skin region. So let's go and select this face on the disk, right click, go to edit, surface, create object from face, then right click again, go to edit, arrange, move. And I'll move it by 0.125 centimeters on the z-axis. And click OK. Now let's try to click again and go to edit, duplicate, a long line. And here I'll set the vector to 0.125 centimeters on the z-axis and click OK. Now let's create the region. So I'll draw a cylinder. I'll set the center position to 0, 0, minus 50 centimeters. I'll set the radius to 150 centimeters and the height to 100 centimeters. And I'll set the number of segments to 36. Then click OK. Now let's double click on cylinder one. I'll rename it region and check display wireframe and click OK. To turn on eddy current calculation, let's go to excitation, right click on it and go to set eddy effects. And here I'll select eddy effect only for the disk and click OK. Now let's add a solution setup. So right click on analysis, add solution setup, and I'll set the maximum number of passes to 15, the percent error to two. Let's go to conversions. Here I'll reduce the refinement per pass to 20%. And under solver, I'll set the adaptive frequency to 500 Hertz and click OK. Now we can run a validation check and run the model by clicking Analyze All. Once the simulation is complete, we can go and view the results. First, I'll plot the mesh on the disk. So I'll select it, right click, go to Plot Mesh, and Done. Here you can see the effect of the automatic adaptive meshing. and also the effects of the mesh seeding. So here we have a denser mesh near the bottom of the disk where the extra layers were inserted. Now let's open the feeds calculator and calculate the ohmic loss on the disk. So I'll go to quantity, select ohmic loss, then geometry, select disk, click integrate, then evaluate. And here you can see that the ohmic loss is around 254 watts. Now let's hide the mesh. I'll select the disk, right click, go to fields, and I'll plot the current density vector. Here I'll check plot on surface only and click done. Let's also plot the ohmic loss distribution. So I'll select the disk, go to Fields, Other, and select ohmic loss. 
here are check plot surface only, click done. And here's our ohmic loss distribution in watts per cubic meter. In this video, we saw an MCS Maxwell example using the eddy current solver to calculate the ohmic loss on a disk above a coil. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.